Greetings, villains, vigilantes, heroes, and heroines. You're tuned in to Project Supervillain. We're your hosts. I'm Mark Drifter. I'm Midnight White. And this video is brought to you in part by Nest. That's National Esports Tournament based out of Toronto, Canada. If esports is your thing, if you're looking to build a team or even just get into the scene, they're the ones you can look to. Who are you going to call? Nest. Don't actually call them. You should email go check them. them. Yeah. yeah. But there's links down there to all their stuff, so make sure you do that. So, this is the series where we review three random indie games uh, actually, made by... Actually, yeah, actually, we're doing a different thing today. This is the one game... Oh, uh, god game. damn it! Yeah, well, it's an episode of Project Super Spillin', and, uh... So, yeah, we're focusing on a single title this time. Uh, this game has a lot to offer, and we didn't want to rush our explanation, so we're gonna be doing single reviews every now and again, uh, to mix it up a little bit. This game definitely deserves it, too. And, in fact, Hypercharge Unboxed is the perfect title to explore, and we're excited to present that to you. So, make sure your batteries are plugged in, make sure all your parts are in the right place, and get ready to let it rip into this episode of Project Super Spillin'. Hypercharge Unboxed is here to fulfill your childhood dreams of bringing your toys to life and drawing you into their world for some of the most fun you've ever had. We can thank developer Digital Cyber Cherries for granting our wishes and delivering such an awesome FPS experience that manages to distinguish itself from most other titles it stands alongside. What a genius idea. A tower defense, wave-based co-op survival game where you play as action figures fighting other recognizable toys of all kinds? Yeah, sign me up for that. Imagine being on the set of Toy Story. Now, imagine being on the set of Small Soldiers. Now, imagine them both at the same time. Boom! You've unboxed Hypercharge in your brain. Now imagine you've got a gun. And so does Woody! Kill him now, and that's how this game works. Actually, the only Woody you're gonna have is gonna be the half-chub in your pants due to the sheer amount of joy you will experience. Now, if you somehow haven't experienced any of these cinematic masterpieces... Well, don't do it right now. But seriously, what the heck? Those are classics. Anyways, back to the point. As you can probably imagine, the entirety of this game takes place in day-to-day -day environments such as household rooms, janitor closets, the back alley of a toy store, inside the toy store, and more. And all of this you're going to be seeing from the perspective of a toy. You know, about six inches. A real six inches, not that subway six inch shit. As previously stated, the main idea here is tower defense. You and your mates will have to defend three different hypercores across each stage from enemy attacks. You will have to accomplish your missions using a variety of weaponry, tools, and traps. If all three of your hypercores fall, so do you, and the mission is failed. But, make sure not to get destroyed yourself, lest you lose all of your hard-earned weapons and upgrades upon respawning, after a short timer. Easier said than done, as enemies are as relentless as they are numerous, and will constantly barrage you with attacks respective to their type. Some of these enemies will include recognizable toys such as Rock'em Sock'em Robots, Little Green Army Men, Alien Saucers, and Beyblades! Let it breathe! No, 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 hey, 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 Miku, Miku, hey! King Kong, you're not in this game. Get out. He's not in this game, is he? I don't actually know. Moving on to the actual gameplay, first thing we should mention, You've got a gun! Well, it's a bunch of guns, one in one, kind of. And you need to use it if you want to keep them hypercores in good shape. You'll collect upgrades throughout each level you'll play that will enhance the gun you currently have equipped. But like we said, this is actually a bunch of guns in one. Well, really it's two guns in one. But the pieces are universal, baby. Different pieces you collect will cause your weapon to behave differently. Different barrel types such as the shotgun barrel or grenade launcher will drastically change the way your gun handles and fires. There are a variety of other barrels to choose from as well. You just have to seek them out. Barrels aren't the only enhancements in this game though. You'll also be able to find sights and stocks among a few specialty attachments hidden in the stages as well. These further enhance things such as your accuracy and weapon control, which in turn will allow you to dish out damage much more efficiently. Mind your wallet, however, as each upgrade and perk will cost you some build credits, which, as the name implies, also allows you to build other things such as traps and obstacles for your unsuspecting foes. Obstacles are simple. They are scattered across the map, usually around your hypercores, and typically will slow the enemy's advance, but only temporarily. You can also build objects to aid you, including bounce pads and climbable towers, like cat trees, but for you instead. 
Traps are a whole different game of Uno. Or Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> You've activated my trap card! <laughs> the traps take form as cards on your dual disc. Thanks, Joey. You can only equip three of them before you start the stage, so choose wisely as each trap is effective against certain enemies. We'll give you one hint. Make sure you splurge some of that gooey stuff on the ground to help you ward off those pesky Beyblades. That's it, you better figure out how to use the rest of them. Honestly, if you can't figure out how walls work though, I recommend getting yourself some Legos in real life and, you know, just go from there. Actually, wait, there's more! Some of these traps are turrets, so they are really more of a tool than a trap, but anyways, back to the main programming. Each level in this game represents an everyday environment you typically find yourself in. We mentioned earlier some of the sets you can expect to encounter in the game. And damn, do the developers ever make excellent use of the layout and mechanics to make traversing and fighting in these maps a bloody good time. Along with upgrades and attachments, there are hidden collectibles to find and a multitude of easter eggs and references throughout. Many of the levels in this game will have you fighting against enemies that correspond with the area you are in, and other stages will feature special boss encounters that will take some finesse and patience to overcome. Oh yeah, we can't forget to mention the soundtrack. Pumping electro beats stimulate you as you combat wave after wave of seemingly unending foes, and the driving beats press you onward into the fray. The last thing we want to talk about is the customization and how it allows you to give your action figure its very own identity and further immerse you in your role. Choose between a number of different styles of action figure as a base for your character. From army man to lizard man or budget snake eyes, there's certain to be something to satisfy you, both aesthetically and nostalgically. After choosing your type of action figure, you'll be able to swap to different heads and bodies depending on how many you have unlocked. Skins and colors can also be applied to your action figure, but once again, you must unlock many of the options through gameplay. Skins can also be unlocked for weapons as well, allowing you to match them with your outfit or just make them stand out completely. You're even permitted to create a title for your character, and while more restrictive than other naming systems in recent games, it's both unique and fitting within this universe. So, strut forth awesome reptile lizard man and his partner in chaos, Mr. Impossible. For $25, this game is well worth its weight in gold. Not just for its excellent co-op gameplay or the plethora of features and content that it has on offer, but the epic and palpable feelings of nostalgia you're sure to experience each and every time you start up a round. In a world of dwindling couch co-op games, this is one I want to see succeed so it can pave the way for others like it. Because, if you ask me, we're in desperate need of some split screen as an option to recapture some of that energy from our childhoods. Hypercharge makes me hyper to charge right into its fun and addicting gameplay loop. With so many different levels and customization options, this game has great replayability. It definitely has that feel to it that you know when you come home after a hard day of work, it's going to relieve the stress and the tension from the long day, and it's simply fun to play, and you know you're going to have a reliably fun time every time. It's like jerking off. Yeah. And that's going to conclude this episode of Project Super Spillin'. We hope you enjoyed the review just as much as we enjoyed playing the game. You can find Hypercharge Unboxed on Steam or Nintendo Switch. Link will be in the description. Speaking of our description, go check out the links down below to see stuff related to Nest, National Esports Tournament. They're based out of Toronto and they're a great and reliable source of esports related content here in Canada. As we speak, they're in the midst of getting a Warzone tournament set up, so go check out the links down below if that's your kind of thing. And don't forget to check us out too, because, uh, we're, we're pretty. Links to all of our social media platforms can be found down below in the description. We're a gaming and EDM hybrid channel, and if you're interested in either of those things, you might like what our channel has to offer. You might. Maybe. And if you're bored, head over to twitch.tv slash project supervillain to catch streams Tuesday through Saturday. We play a variety of games, and we hope to see you there. That's it for the episode. All right, guys. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Project dismissed. Be Joe.